Hey, what is up, guys? This is Solomar Tristan here, and I'm bringing you ghostly advice. So this is a new series where I'm going to be giving you guys advice. You can email me at the top of the description below if you have a problem. Um, I don't have, I only have two short emails that I can answer. Not really emails, but they were comments. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get right into it. So he says, I'm Australian and I like the chick from the USA. I told her that I like her, but I don't know what to say the next time we talk. So the deal is that she is from America with this guy, and. Uh, you're from Australia. Now, in my mind, it just can't work. And I'm sorry to break this to you, um, but it, unless you visit the United States often, which I really don't think you do, by the wording of your message, you guys don't even live remotely close to each other. So what I would do is I would try to get over your feelings for this girl and date somebody in your area. Because I don't know about you guys, but physical contact and actually, you know, physically, you know, being there with somebody is the only thing that can keep a relationship together. I don't believe in long distance. I don't believe in extremely long distance like this. Like maybe dating someone in another like city or maybe uh, in your same state but a little bit far away is possible if you really like each other and can visit each other at least some, sometime to an often extent. But yeah, so I mean, if you talk to her, just tell her you like her, but you know, you don't, I don't think it'll work, man. I'm sorry to break that news to you, but I don't think it'll work between you two just for the sole fact that she lives way across the world, all right? It just can't work, man. I'm sorry to break that to you, but long distance isn't something that you should try to get yourself involved into, probably at a young age, as I assume. And uh, unless you're planning on moving in with this girl relatively soon, but I just don't see it working. I'm sorry, man. I would try to get over your feelings for this girl and try to date some girls in Australia close to your, you know, town or in your in your school or something like that. I hope this advice did help you. And uh, please give me a follow up message on my email or YouTube PM or anything like that, guys. These will be completely anonymous, just so you know. And yeah, I'm going to go get on to the second one. So, what do you do if you like this girl, but her fat friend likes you, and the girl likes me, but there's, they're really good friends? So, think about it this way. The fat girl likes him, but he likes the girl who's friends with the fat girl. And, uh, I think she likes him as well, but the girl and the fat girl are, god, are really good friends. So, if I were in your shoes, what I would do is I would date the girl... Um, the skinny girl, regardless of the fact that she's friends with another girl who likes you, alright? Girls get competitive. Girls like, you know, competition. Well, I wouldn't say they like it, but they do compete, you know, for guys uh, sometimes. And uh, in this case, you know, maybe this will cause some kind of feud between you and her. But, you know, you may want to tell the <laughs> fat girl that, you know, you're sorry, you have feelings for her friend, and you don't want any of this to affect the friendship that you know they have or that you and you and the fat girl have so yeah i'll go ahead and do that and go ahead and date the the girl who you like you know don't don't think you can't date a girl just because she's friends with someone who likes you you know it doesn't work that way i think you should just go for this girl and you know tell me how it goes now i'm sorry for the short episode i really hope you guys did enjoy and uh please click that like button if you did enjoy i will see you later have a good day